Okay, so first off, you're going to want to install SVP. I'll put a link in the description where you can get it. You'll get a 30-day free trial at first, and then you'll need to pay the lifetime license fee of $20. And you can switch that from device to device. It only gives you one device, though. Um, so once you're in here, you have to go to the updater, additional programs and features, add or remove components, and then you gotta do this down here, rife slash tensorrt uh, interpolation engine, and I've already done that, so I've got it here, got it set to fixed 60 FPS, tensorrt, two threads, because four doesn't give you any more performance, just loads your G GPU more. Um, the model 4.6, which is the best apart from 2.3. But I don't think, uh, well actually no, 2.3 2 might work with other multiples, um, but it's not as fast. I'm gonna have to test that later. Um, so the GPU device, 3080, performance boost enabled, custom scene change of 36 because the maximum value that they have is way too high. So I'll show you how you do that. You just come in here, search rife, it'll bring up the rife underscore sc, right? And then you will set that to 36. Um, so then you can open up a file and it's going to play it's going to take a while to load the first time with TensorRT. Um, and my 3080 can do something like 1440p, 60 FPS around there. Um, but, you know, no video is really 1440p. So, to limit all the video to that, you're going to search resize in the application settings and set it to dash 1920 1080, no spaces and that will resize everything to 1920 by 1080. If you're doing a frame rate apart from 60 FPS, you may need a lower value, and if you have a different GPU, you will definitely need a lower value as well. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, for a quality tweak, you're gonna open up, um, oops, open with notepad, open this override dot or no, sorry, not override.js, generate.js. Open that up. And in here, you're going to have the Rife script that they're using, um, which will include the bicubic parameters for the scaling, the downscale and everything. So you got your bicubic resize here. By cubic resize here, you can see we got the parameters here. Oh. Yeah, so you can add this to these lines set to B1C0. It's the Abby synth. That gives you B-spline, so there's no ring in the downscaling. Um, it's only going to be downscaling ever. I think that's it. I don't think there's any other... Let's search by cubic. Oh, there's another one. But it doesn't look like that one is... Scaling, I don't know. Maybe it is. You can just put it on all of them. See, I put filter param A1, filter param B0 on these. I think I just looked for the downscaling lines and edited it to have the correct um, parameters. So yeah, that's all for this part.